MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon. Between the Brewers and the Pirates. It's... Dustin Signs, the Dominican left-hander, will get the nod to start here. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, one of the keys to this guy is throwing strikes. He's not a big strikeout pitcher, only averages less than seven strikeouts per nine innings pitched. So he's more of a pitch to early in counts. So striding in, Cooper Davis, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. The one-two is a wave and a miss he struck him out really impressive pitching right there sometimes as a pitcher you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire but what does he do he comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike at the plate now Harrison Ray in there at the letters one and two now and just a Chamber of Commerce afternoon for baseball. 82 degrees here at first pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. Time to check our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Freddie Ferguson. You know, this is one of the guys behind the dish, Freddie Ferguson, Dan, that the rookies are going to have a tough time with. If you've played in the league for a little bit, you understand that he's got his own zone. I, you touched on it, Dero. I think he rewards the veteran players, not only pitchers, but position players. He makes the younger players, he makes them earn their keep. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. And that's the beauty of having a guy in the two-hole like him. He's almost like another leadoff hitter, working a walk with just one out, and I think there's a good chance that he's going to be on the move. It's Again, Austin Martin, first shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Throw over to the bag, just keeping him close. Ray stands at first with one out. Runners on the move for second. Pitch is high. The throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Good steal of second there, and that really sets up the middle of this order to drive in a run and break this scoreless ball game. Always great if you can score first early in the game. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so the Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. And there are two away now. The first baseman. That's good. Go. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Spencer Jones. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Two out base runner aboard in the top of the first. And he fouls this one off. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. I know we sit up here and talk about it a lot. Just grabbing the momentum, trying to tack on early runs as quick as possible. It allows the pitcher to go out there, relax, attack the strike zone. It keeps everybody involved. That two-out RBI, I know it's early, but that just gives everyone a chance to just relax and compete. Now to the plate, Ty Duvall. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. And he'll get back in standing. Two out with the man at first. Oh. 
Now a foul tip that's held on to at the plate, and the count moves to one and two now. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. On now to the bottom of inning number one. Milwaukee leads it one to nothing. Ethan Smith is on the mound for game two. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy's had a really solid season. And what shows me that more than anything? Solid three to one strikeout to walk ratio. And if he continues to do that, he'll pitch really well in this one. Coming to the plate now, Ray Albino. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. <laughs> And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first out. So coming to the plate, Logan Sato. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Bases are empty, one man out. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. Fellas, you look at these guys with a first-inning lead, by the way, as they take the field this afternoon. You've got to be considered one of, if not the hottest team in baseball right now. Winners of eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Matty, this team has been playing really well right now, and, and, and this is case in point. Chance to jump out again to another 1-0 lead. They've really been doing that. They've been on attack, early offensive, almost ambush-like approaches to their at-bats, and it's working for them. Three and two, full count. Fouled off. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And it's fouled away. He'll try it again, three and two. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. Stepping in now, number 39. Pulled toward right center field. Coleman is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Second inning set to go and standing in the rookie outfielder Tate Coleman. Line toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with knocks will help you sleep better at night, Dan. At the plate, Isaiah Thomas, a bouncer up the middle. He's got it. The second for one. On to first, and they get them both. We don't get to see the glove tossing up, but boy, it can really help save some time, and it looks good to boot. That's smooth. So base is empty now after the double play, and digging in is the rookie designated hitter, Parker Nolan. Bases are empty here with two men out. 
lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Leading off the inning, Will Fritz, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Here's the pitch. Here's a swing, and oh, man! Way out of here! Team for him on the year, and this ball game is tied at one. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in the game. At the plate, Bryce Bloom. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. The 2-2. Two -two. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Line drive to center field. Coleman is there, and he has it for the first down. Batting six. The catcher, Mickey Holder. Set to get his day started, Mickey Holder, and it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Down low, two balls and a strike. I got two on the count. One out, nobody on. Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. Zane Schmidt waits on deck. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Thomas is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Batting back. The designated hitter. At the plate, Zane Schmidt as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw in time, and the side is retired. But a run scores in the inning, and that'll have to be good enough as this solo home run knocks things up. We've played two, all even at one apiece. At the plate, Carter Young. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here now the 2-2. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Corbett will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Now batting. The left field. Cooper. David. Digging in. Cooper Davis. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. Oh, and this drops in the infield. Throw into second, not in time, and he's in there with a double. That was not a good pitch, but he handled it nicely, guys. Yeah, and the pitcher's got to wonder what he has to do to get it past this guy. That pitch was off the plate, but he shows great reach, gets good extension, and drives it for a two-bagger.
Into the box now. Harrison Ray. Swing and a liner. Foul. Runner at second here with one man out. Fouled away. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. The throw behind the runner at second. And a dive, but he's back in there. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. And that's taken high for a ball that's full now. Three and two. You can certainly tell at-bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at-bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Standing in now, Austin Martin. Now a swing and an easy fly ball that toward right center. Number 39 is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Bottom of the third now, and that'll give way to the rookie second baseman, Ty Coleman. Here now the 2-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Stepping up now, Mason Corbett. And he'll be looking to snap out of it in this one. Not having much success at the plate over the last week and a half. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Davis comes on now and puts it away for the second out of the inning. Now batting, center fielder, Ray Albino. Digging in, Ray Albino. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Two out, nobody on. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Hot shot on the ground is short. Fielded cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Striding into the box, Spencer Jones. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, 2-1. and one. Chopped toward the second baseman. Barehanded at his knees. It's there, and he's out. And that's a huge play to keep the leadoff now man off base. The catcher. Todd. Duvall. Stepping in, Ty Duvall. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. down the left field line and deep and it in fact lands in the corner foul lucky he got a piece right there he was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch now a fastball awfully close but he doesn't get the call it's two and two now
This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at-bat. Here's a fly ball. Well hit. Number 39 is there, and he makes the catch for the out. The center field of the set. Now at the plate, Tate Coleman, he singled it. The 2-1 is in there for the second strike. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Last half of the inning, and stepping in will be the very fleet footed Logan Sato. Hit on the ground to short, scooped up. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Now back, number 39. So striding forward now, number 39 comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. 3 and 1, here it is. On the ground to the right side, reined in. And there's out number 2. Now back, first baseman, Will Rick. So here's the cleanup hitter, Will Fritz. He went deep in his first at-bat, and we'll see what he's got in store for us here. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Now at the plate, Isaiah Thomas. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The one two. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first down of the inning. Just flat out frozen there. Nothing too deceptive about that four seam fastball. So I think he wasn't expecting it at all. Parker. To the plate now, Parker Nolan. Fly ball right down the line in left. Left fielder giving chase, and he makes the catch in the corner. Now back to the quick throw. Carter, yeah. Ready now, Carter Young. He flew out in his last at bat. Bases are empty here with two men out. Could take there to lay off the high fastball. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Signs is there to make the catch and the side is retired.
bottom of the inning now and stepping up as the shortstop Bryce Bloom. Now the two one. And he misses this one inside and that'll run things full three and two. Just hung in there on that one. Swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go now about his business. Uh, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Into the box, Mickey Holder, and he misses 2-1. To two and two now. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Bases are empty, one man out. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. Bounced weakly near the plate, but it rolls foul, so we'll have another payoff pitch. Looking to fade his first walk. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Another payoff pitch. Liner toward right center. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Dan, are you even concerned about that? You've been pitching out of a wind-up ball game, and now you have to go to the stretch. It can be a concern sometimes, Debra, but you try to in between starts to make sure that you throw enough pitches out of the stretch, and he's been out of the wind-up most of the game, so we'll see how he reacts here after this base hit. In now, Zane Schmidt fouled off. There he goes toward second, but he won't draw a throw. That's taken for ball four, and it's first and second now with one away. How about it? The second baseman. Into the box now, Ty Coleman. In there, and it's full three and two. Hit in the air out to center field. Coleman is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Now back, left fielder, Mason Corbett. Digging in now, Mason Corbett. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. The set and the 1 1. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Ready with the 2 1. Lays off the change up and he's ahead in the count now. 3 and 1. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And the count will be full. And he'll try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around and the inning is over.
top half of the sixth about to get started. And digging in is the outfielder, Cooper Davis. Nope. Fastball, and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Good pass at that ball, just a little late, and now the count's full. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number five on the year. As they take the lead, it's two to one. There's still some game left to be played, but that one swing could end up being a deciding factor in this one. comes the manager out of the first base dugout heading for the mound and he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here didn't pitch all that poorly yet he's gone nonetheless. Cam Wynn takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Wynn. So now to the plate, Harrison Rain. And it's fouled away. Here's another one, too. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got now it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Plate now, Austin Martin. High in the air out towards shallow right. Number 39 is over just a few steps to his left as he takes it for out number two. The first base. Now with the plate, Spencer Jones. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The one two. Is laid off for ball two. Here now the two two. Is a fastball taken high for a ball. Two out, nobody on. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. So they pick up a run on the solo home run, as that'll give them the lead. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. Milwaukee is out in front here, two to one. Leading off the inning, Ray Albino. And they'll need him to get something going here. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there and pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get him to that bullpen. That is not the way he wanted to start off this happening. It's one thing to walk the leadoff hitter, but it's even more painful when the leadoff hitter is an absolute burner and he can really wreak some havoc on the bases. Ready for another shot now. Logan Sato. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. 
down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. Here's the one and two delivery. Two balls, two strikes. Line to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, guys, that's a well-executed slider down the way right there. The batter just did an amazing job of staying inside the baseball and driving it the other way. Into the box now, number 39. High and deep down the left field line. Davis will get there as he makes the catch in foul territory for the first down. And a daring move there pays off as he'll make it into third on the fly ball to left. We'll see if moving up to third pays off for him. He didn't have to tag and go for third, but now he can score a lot of different ways. Doesn't have to be a hit. Now here comes Ron Gardenhire up out of the dugout. And it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So as he departs, his fate is still up in the air. He could stand to win it. He could get a no decision. He could even be on the hook for the loss if both runners come around to score. Chase Huff takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Will Fritz will be the first to greet him here as he'll do so with runners at the corners and only one out. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Catch is made here in right and here comes the runner from third. And this will get into the books as a sack fly and an RBI and we are tied at two. The Great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. Stepping up to the plate, Bryce Bloom. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. The 1 1 home. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. A topper fouled off to the right, and that leaving the count at two and two. Now a throw over to first, and he'll get back in safely. Man at first with two out in a two-two ball game. Runner goes for second, and another foul ball. Two two one more time. Fouled away. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. A run, a hit, and a man left. We're through six full, and we are tied two two. Mason Ornelas is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Now batting Ty Duvall. off ball four now the potential go-ahead run is on base here 
Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Coming to the plate now, Tate Coleman. Now the 2-1. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. Albino is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. The right fielder, number eight. Isaiah. Thomas. Now in the box, Isaiah Thomas. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. And he looks at his sinker for a called third strike, and now there are two gone. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. But that can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Stepping in now, Parker Nolan. And this one's in the dirt. No advance here, but it's 3-1 and one now. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. And this is going to get down for extra bases. Go ahead, run, heading for the plate. And a relay home. He's safe at the plate. And they've taken the lead here in the seventh. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them. But when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, especially that. Especially when you start to score runs late in the game off of quality pitching. When runs are at a premium, that's one makes you feel really good about yourself. To the plate now, Carter Young hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Good time to be a nine hole hitter right now. More than likely going to get a good pitch to hit. The top of the order is looming on deck. Good spot to be a good hitter right now. Hit in the air to shallow center. Coleman ranging into the outfield. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, please. A run will score in the inning on this RBI double. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. The Brewers on top three to two. Michael Dolan gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Dolan. Leading off the inning, Mickey Holder, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. The one-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Missed down low in the dirt, so he's worked at full now at three and two. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Now the payoff pitch home. Fly ball right down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move, and no one will track it down. Fouls this one off. Payoff pitch one more time. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. 3 2 one more time.
popped up. Goldman is under it near the mound. He's got it one away. Now back the designated hitter. Schmidt. Striding forward now is the DH, Zane Schmidt. Very tight ball game. Three to two our score in inning number seven. Fouled off. To two balls and two strikes now. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high. Three and two. One thing to take note of is how these last two batters have really driven up his pitch count. He's had to use 14 pitches already on them, and he's not even through this guy yet. 14 is near the top end of what you want to throw in a complete inning. And it's fouled away. The next 3-2. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Rain ranging into the outfield. He gets there, and that's the second out. Boy, he now showed back. some pretty good that's range, heading pretty deep oh. into the outfield to bring that Whoa. one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Stepping into the box, Ty Coleman. Bases are empty here with two men out. Mm, might have gone after ball four there as this one's fouled away off to the right. The next 3-2. Fouled away. Payoff pitch one more time. High in the air out to center field. Coleman is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Jordan Geiger has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Geiger. Leading off the inning, Cooper Davis, as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. The last at bat, Matty D, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Standing in now, Harrison Rain. Swing, and oh my, hit him with the high and out of here and I mean by plenty that ball was crushed so a solo shot here to left center field home run number nine on the year as they push the lead to four to two there are certain guys in every lineup that you do not want to beat you and this guy right now is swinging the bat so well I'm not giving him a chance to do anything. He's too hot right now. So now to the plate, Austin Martin. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. One out, nobody on. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. 
Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at a miss. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. In now, Spencer Jones, and a fastball misses there, ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. So stepping in, Ty Duvall. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Now a move over to first and a dive, but he's back in. Set to deliver on two and one. He's running in the dirt, and now let's see. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away, as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Three two pitch. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Right about now, the manager's questioning now his decision to bring this guy in. If you can't trust a reliever to throw strikes, you can't trust him at all. We'll see if he comes to get him sooner than later. Digging in to try it again, Tate Coleman. Two down, runners at first and second. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. A scoop with the bare hand. Safe. That was a phenomenal stop, but it winds up a base hit, and the inning continues. You know, Dero, as a pitcher, that could be so frustrating. You're taught to try to go out there and make quality pitches, and that was a really good pitch. And I would be willing to bet you he's surprised that that turned into an infield single. Yeah, at the end of the day, he's smiling. That hitter smiling, running down first base, knowing he's got an infield single right there. He has no business. He'll line out probably 15 times, but it won't even out. You take them when you can get them. Bryce Miller answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. Into the box, Isaiah Thomas. One and two. Here's the one and two. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. So one run on two hits, including the home run. No errors. And three men left stranded. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Milwaukee is on top here, 4-2. to two. Sam Heil is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Standing in, Mason Corbett. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. And he fouls this one off. The 1 and 2 pitch. A breaking ball swung on and missed, and he's set down for the second time this afternoon. Now that. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Ray Albino. Now the one and one pitch. 
Heil is one of those guys that just seems to be at his best under pressure. Runners in scoring position, tight game, tough hitters at the plate. That's when he's at his best. One of the keys, Matty V, to being a good reliever is being able to pitch out of trouble. Trouble that's created by the pitchers before you, or sometimes you even have some mess that you put on yourself. Hey, regardless if it's a mess that he's inherited or one that he's created for himself, this guy makes good pitches when the game's on the line. Digging in and looking for more, Logan Sato. Only four outs remaining for them to try and rally back in this one. Here's the one and two delivery. Now a foul tip held on to behind the plate. Nice work there to get the punch out, and the inning is over. to pick things up where we left off Parker Nolan he'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here 1-1 one, one. misses off the plate the 2-1 Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Here now the 2-2. Bouncer to the left side. He's got it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now, not a lot you can do with that okay. pitch. That fastball just Murder. ate him up inside yeah. and gets the soft grounder for the out. Striding in, Carter Young as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. This is somewhat of a cause for concern. This guy needs to hit better left-handed against right-handed pitching. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at 2-2. Two and two. The pitch. Top toward the second baseman. Throw gets him. Two down. The left field. Super. David. Cooper Davis will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. The 2-1 is laid off of for ball number three. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. Fastball too low, and that's ball four. It's all a part of learning how to pitch in the big leagues. Major League hitters will not bail you out by swinging at pitches out of the zone. So he's going to have to continue to learn how to get guys out at this level. Ready once again, Harrison Ray. Man at first after the two-out walk. One-one. That's a strike to throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Good steal there, and I'll tell you, he is a multi-dimensional player out there. He's got good pop at the plate, and he showed he's not afraid to use his wheels on the bases either. To your point, Dan, he did go deep earlier, and now the stolen base here, so he's really having an impact on this game. The count now at two and two. front of the change up there as this is chopped foul at home plate. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Count remains two and two. Open to send him packing pitch on its way sent on the ground out to second and the stolen base winds up as a moot point as the inning is over.
Tyler Brown enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Tyler Brown. Striding in to start the ninth, number 39, and they'll need him to get something going here. Hey, not an easy thing to do, even at home, when you're down by two, trying to score a couple of runs off of one of the game's top closers. Fouled off. Here now the 2-2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you can see there, he currently sits third in the AL in that category. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Will Fritz. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Bases are empty, one man out. High and wide, two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1. Will not catch the zone, ball three. 3 1 count, tie run on the on deck circle. You have to be very careful right here to make a quality pitch on three and one. Hit out towards second. On to first, and they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. Now with the plate, Bryce Bloom, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Two-run game, last of the ninth with two away. Grounded weakly toward third. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first is in time to get him. And the Brewers have run their winning streak to five in a row now as this ball game is over. Well, just another day at the office for these guys. That stretches their winning streak to five, and they're playing well in all three phases of the game. Pitching, fielding, and hitting. Who knows how long this will last. Four to two, the final score today. Milwaukee jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Chase Huff earns his third win of the year in relief. Tyler Brown closes the door for the save, his 21st of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasker, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Fans are final line score. First for the victorious visiting team. Four runs, seven hits, no error. They left seven men on base. For the home team, two runs on three hits, no error. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 48 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.